Hello, years three and four. Welcome to the Ken Ken ECA. Now, if you have um, had a look at Miss Lloyd's Sudoku ECA, then you are going to love Ken Ken. It's along the same lines. It's a maths puzzle. Um, you have to place numbers into boxes, and it's really great fun, and it's a really good challenge of your math skills. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to introduce to you what Ken Ken is, how to play it, what the rules are, and um, some of you might have already seen Ken Ken, but it's very similar to Sudoku in that you've got a square and you've got different um, squares within it, and you have to place numbers in the correct place. There are numbers that are missing, and you need to put them all in the correct order. Now, the one difference is where you've got Sudoku, you've got nine kind of mini boxes within a big box, and each of those numbers in that box have to make nine. Then in Ken Ken, I will show you what the main difference is. We've got cages, and you need to think of actual number sums to or number problems to find the numbers that fit in. But you will be, all become clear when I go through the different challenges. So this is how we play Ken Ken. This is what it looks like. Here is a simple three by three Ken Ken challenge. And you can see that the uh, three by three is split into its own little rectangles, okay, or squares. And each one has got a number within the box or the rectangle and a mathematical symbol. So this is an empty box and it will end up looking like this. All right, so your goal is to fill in the whole grid with numbers, making sure that no number is repeated in any row or column. So here are the rows that go across and these are the columns that go down. Now, unlike Sudoku, where you are looking at numbers between one and nine, now the numbers that you have in a Ken Ken puzzle is determined by the size of your grid, all right? So if I've got a three by three, like this, one, two, three, one, two, three, then the only numbers that I'm gonna use are one, two, and three, okay? So if it's a four by four, I would use the numbers one to four, and a five by five, I would use one to five, and so on. So these rectangles within our three by three, and here we can actually see they're colored to make it a bit more clearer. These are called cages, okay? And this puzzle has got five cages. One, two, three, four, five. Now within each cage, you will see a number and an operation or a mathematical symbol. Now you can see all the numbers and symbols have been circled, so they are very clear. And the idea of these numbers is that that is the number that you need to make, okay? That is the answer to your number sum that you're going to create using the numbers one, two, or three. And the symbol, the operation that is next to it, is what you're going to do. It's how you're going to find it. So in all of these, we're going to be adding. All right? So in this case, for this box that's been highlighted, I have got to use numbers one, two, or three to make five. So I've got two digits that I need to use and I need to make five. So which ones do you think I'm going to need? Now, a good place to start with Ken Ken is that there is often one square that is one cage all on its own, like this one here. Now that we call a freebie. Now in a freebie, that's a perfect place to start because as you can see, the number in the box in the cage is three. So I just need to put three in that box, in that cage, I should say. So that is the total. You'll notice there's no operation 
there's no mathematical symbol, no add sign here, because I'm not adding any two numbers together because I've only got one option, it has to be three. Now, exactly like Sudoku, you cannot repeat a number within a row or a column. So now that I've put three in here, I cannot put a three in either this one or this one. And that's how we build the game. So let's complete this example. But before we complete this example, let me tell you at the end of this video, I'm going to show you the website that you need to go on to actually play the game. And it has got thousands of different Kenken puzzles that you can choose. Um, and it generates them all automatically. And you can have loads of fun challenging yourself. Now, when you go on there, it's going to look, you're going to click on a box, and then this is going to appear, and you get to choose the digit that you want. Now, you're all going to start on a three by three, so one, two, three is going to appear, and you choose which digit you want to place in the box. You've also got an eraser tool, and you've got an X, which is a cancel tool, which will just delete um, the number in there. Okay? So if we have a go at completing this example, so we've already got the three in our freebie. So now let's look at, let's have a go at looking at this cage. Now I want to make four, that is the total, that is the result of our number sum that we're going to make. And I'm obviously going to use addition. So what, which two numbers out of one, two and three am I going to use to make four? Well, I'm going to use one, and three, aren't I? Now, this is where it helps us because I can't put three in any of these two uh, squares. So in my cage that I'm doing, I'm gonna have to put three here, which means this has to be one, all right? So if I've got a one and a three here, this has to be two. And that's the same for this one. I've got a one and a three, so this has to be two. Because remember, I can only use those three digits and they've got to fill each row and column. So now that I've got, let's go for this cage, I've already got a two in this cage. So what do I need to add to two to make three, which is the total of this cage? I need to add one. So I can put one in there. And again, in my column here, I've got a two and a one already. So this has to be a three. So you can see that I've got a three now in this row and this column in this row and that column, and I've got one in this bottom one, the row and this column. So this now leaves me very simply, I need to put a two here and I can put a one here. And as you can see, all my digits add up in their cages to equal what I've got there, all right? Okay, now let's have a go at completing another Ken Ken puzzle. Three by three, this is an opportunity for you to pause the video and then you can have a go and then when you're ready, turn it back on again and see if you've come up with the same solution as me. So let's have a look at our freebie. So there it is. So we're gonna put three in there, best place to start. Now let's have a look at the cage above. I need to make five. And I'm gonna add the digits together and I'm gonna choose either one, two, or three. So which digits do we add together to make five? Well, I add two and three together. I can't put three here because there's already a three in that column. So I'm going to put my two and I'm going to put a three here. So that makes five. And then I go to the top one. I'm left with a one. So I'm neat because one, two, three. And also to make three, I need to add one and two together. So that's going to be the two. Now this leaves me in a very small position where now I find myself just completing the rows and columns. So I've got two here and a three here, so this has to be a one. Now I've got a three and a one, so this has to be a two. This has to be a one, and this has to be a three. Now I can go along and check it to make sure that I've got it absolutely right. Let's just get rid of this so it doesn't look like I'm doing minus two. So check it round, so three add one is four, one add two is three, there's a three, two add three is five, and one add two is three. Nothing is repeated, so we've got the solution. Well done if you've got the same as me. Now, as I said before, you can do four by fours, five to five, five by five, six by sixes. Here are some examples of some four by fours, and you can see this is an easy one, allegedly. This is a, a supposed easy option. 
and you can see we're going up to slightly higher numbers here seven it's just because we're going to be using the numbers one two three and four all right now this is a medium challenge where you can see actually the cages suddenly get bigger there's not just two or one you get three squares in a cage all right so that adds to the challenge so this is how we're going to get to the ken ken website so we're going to go onto good old google it's going to help us out here and in there all you're going to do is type ken ken into google and you are going to get lots of options but this is the one you want kenkenpuzzle.com and it's going to look like this king puzzle official site free math puzzles that make dot dot so you click on there that is going to bring you to the following page which looks like this you can see this is what the um how it's called it looks like ken ken okay puzzles that make you smarter and this is the front page that you will uh be presented with so what i suggest you do don't worry about the daily challenge or you can click on play or select puzzle type and difficulty okay so that is going to lead you on to the next slide that I'll show you. But just want to point out to you, when you get really, really, really good at these, look, you can see the cages have different mathematical symbols. in. We've got division, we've got multiplication, subtraction, and addition, all in the same puzzle. So it gets really challenging and it gets really good fun and a good, a good uh, uh, logic puzzle. Okay, so when you get really good, you can start looking at those. Okay, this is what you'll get when you select your own puzzle type and difficulty. Now, I've selected three by threes. I've said only addition, and I, I would recommend you stay with addition only until you get to uh, grips with it and you get well practiced. And I've selected easiest. You could only really do easiest on three by three. Okay, if you were to choose four by four, then it'll open up all of these. All right, easy, medium, hard, and expert. All right, but you can always do the easiest start off with. Then you just click play now. Okay, this is where I'm going to leave you now. So if you want to go back over the rules and how to do Ken Ken, you can watch the video from the start. And obviously you can watch it as many times as you like. Um, and I really hope you have a fantastic time having a go at these Ken Ken puzzles. Okay, I love them. Um, my wife in years five and six, she loves them. And she gives them to all the students and they love them. Uh, so I really think you should have a go. All right. So good luck. And do please tell me if you see me in the corridors, do tell me how you've done, what your largest puzzle is that you've managed to solve. And I will look forward to hearing all about it. Good luck.